Are you looking for a faster video? Well, today it's a live stream and I know you're probably looking for a really nice and tidy edited down video, but I have ways for you to make it faster. You can click that little gear on the YouTube settings right there on the video and adjust the playback speed. Make me sound like a chipmunk and it'll go a lot faster. You can also look and see if there's timestamps for this project in the description. And if you're on a desktop, you can hover over the time bar at the bottom of the screen and see if it's chunked up into chapters. And then that way you can go directly to the step you're looking for. And lastly, you can also tap on the screen on the right hand side of the video picture or on the left hand side to make the video jump ahead forward or backward if you're on a mobile device. And you can adjust that amount in your settings so you can have complete control over how much it jumps. So if you are on a desktop, you can use the fast forward or the rewind and that will make it fast go faster as well. You can also enable subtitles and the little CC on the screen will enable closed captioning. That way, if I am a little bit harder to understand with that double playback speed, the subtitles might help you out. All right, well, I know that it's not a nice little edited video, but if you sew with me, we'll get there together and it'll be lots of fun. And now for the live stream. Happy sewing. Hello, how's it going? Happy Thursday. Just got a piece of tape on me. <laughs> All right, so um, this is anything goes week, meaning I just needed a flexible week. And um, just because um, I have things I wanna make too, or I have obligations, or I have unfinished things, and so I just wanted it to be kind of flexible. Nello, Ray, how's it going? So um, I had this idea the other day, this is the one thing about my live stream is I feel like it's amazing that it's grown to what it has. So I'm feeling like I can't be as spontaneous anymore. Um, and that's kind of what prompted this because it's like, oh, I just had this idea for making a rug for my bathroom because I've been using the same rugs for like 12 years and they're just like, they're just like the threads are coming off of them and they're kind of faded. <laughs> and um, I, I don't know, like buying rugs is fine, but they're kind of all out at the stores and I kind of want something that doesn't have that backing that doesn't wash very well. So, hi Carrie, hey Patty, how's it going? So I decided that I would try and make myself a rug, which is basically like making a quilt. And hi Megan, how's it going? Hiya. <laughs> I decided that to make it like I know probably nobody in the world is going to do this but me, but I thought that it would be kind of fun to use the free pattern by Closet Core Patterns, the top of the floor poof, which I've made this floor poof a few times and I love it. And it holds a lot of fabric scraps, which is great. In fact, I have enough fabric scraps under my table to make another floor poof, but I don't really need one. Although, you know what? Maybe I'll make one anyway, because they're kind of fun to have around. So... I think that is how she's, wait, I think it's, um, oh, I knew how to spell her name, Ray. And now that I see your spelling, I'm doubting it. <laughs> Hi, Rebecca, how's it going? So one of the things I was thinking was I was gonna make a big round rug for my bathroom. And I posted a picture of my bathroom on Instagram. Um, I have this beautiful bathroom now, but I have these radial rugs in there. I did finally buy new towels after we moved in. I'm really thankful because I had the same towels too. And we were down to two because, you know, when you have kids, sometimes they borrow things and they don't ever come back to you the same way. Yeah, so, um, yeah. So I um, have this beautiful bathroom. It, it definitely looks really pretty in pictures too, but I just want you all to know that the tub has a bunch of dead wasps in it. <laughs> I find oak leaves and dirt at the bottom of the, on the floor of the shower almost every time I walk in if there's been any kind of wind because there's a vent above it and things just drop straight in. <laughs> there's tons of spiders and spider webs because wasps and other critters are getting in. Beautiful huge skylight above the tub which I can't clean because and it's covered in um, spider webs. The tub is 
taller than me. Like, I'm not exaggerating. I can lay completely flat in there, head to head, and my toes and my head won't touch the top and the bottom, so it's really uncomfortable. I can't really use it. Um, what else to make you feel better about my bathroom? Because <laughs> it is really beautiful, and that, that thing above the tub actually lights up. So behind it is a closet, and um, if you saw what it looked like behind it, you would call a contractor to come and fix it because it looks a little sketch. But it is really cool, and it's all lit up at night. It's really pretty. Um, and there's a little light switch right there under the towel. So it's really special. It's a really special place, and someone built it as their home. Um, and I think that the bathroom was there to accommodate we, we have a feeling that they slept in, in separate rooms, probably just out of a comfort type of thing because one bedroom is extremely bright and one isn't. Um, one also gets warmer than the other. So um, the way they positioned the bathroom is it's very big. It's only a two bedroom house, um, but there's, there is cool little details like that thing above the tub. Um, there's this um, clear glass block in the downstairs bathroom, that's a sun and it's orange. It's not clear, but you, light shines through and they put a hole in the side of the house so you can see light passing through it. Really cool little details like that. I don't know how carpentry worthy they are, but they're, they're cool details. So, hi Adina, nice to see you. Hi Elena, <clears throat> your hellos are complete, Ray. Hi Karen, <clears throat> hi Dar. Oh, thanks. It's just the, I wear it all the time, the tea house dress by So House 7, but I don't have the belt on because I really like it without the belt. So, yeah, you're going to start again, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, and I didn't really spend like all the time in the world picking out the perfect fabrics for my bathroom. I have a weakness for Carolyn Freelander fabrics. And I really love them because they're not like pretty. They're they're very architectural and kind of nerdy. I like to call them nerdy. Um, and I like all the like lines and crazy elements in them. Um, the color palettes are always a little bit different as well. And I don't know. There's something about how odd they are in a good way to me that they're, I'm really attracted to them. Um, and I have found that there's probably lots of places. Whew, there's probably lots of places that sell half yard bundles, not just fat quarter bundles, but I just finally found one that sells them. And I got a, fat, a half yard bundle from Fabric Worm. I've added a few fabrics to my little bundle here. Hi, Emily, how's it going? Hi, Malin. Nice to see you, nice to see you all. Um, let's see, I added in this one. Pretty sure this is not Carolyn Freelander. Um, I don't know, it, the lighting over here makes everything look so dull. I took out the blue, like the bundle came with all these really cool fabrics as well, but I don't really think that's gonna look that great in my bathroom. Um, I also added this, but this is a Carolyn Freelander and it has this scallop. This was from my Jelly Roll quilt <laughs> experiment, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I spent a couple hours this weekend sewing up holes in that because apparently a lot of those fabrics are just fraying past my seam. I, it is clearly made by a beginner quilter. I don't know who that lady was, what she was thinking, but anyway. All right, so, so yeah, I added this. Oh, this is also a Carolyn Freelander, I'm pretty sure, um, and I added it because I added a little bit of green. This is a napkin and I added it. it. It is kind of greenish. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep that. So I thought I added more green. I only added this, really? Anyway, so these were in there as well. And I'll show you a picture of my bathroom because I also decided that I was gonna do a big circle and I can fit like a 54 inch circle in there, but I kind of, was been thinking about it and I'm wondering if maybe doing two half circles. Okay, so here, uh, oh look, there's a new frog in our pond. Look, see him right there? And he is really, really um, adventurous. And he, he, sleep, he hangs out in um, all these weird spots in our pond. I'm always finding him in new spots. So anyway, that's a picture. So here's my bathroom. And I drew round rugs here. Oh, 
So you see, so I have this tub. I drew a half rug here, it looks like an orange slice. And I drew a half right here. So I'm thinking maybe two half circles that are really big and that almost kind of are offset, you know, like this one and this one. I can't really draw it with my hands, but anyway. Yeah, and so that's what I'm kind of thinking right now. Also, what I was thinking the benefits of this could be, it'd be easier to wash one of them and um, easier to quilt them. Just easier overall to manage them. You know what I mean? So <laughs> you are Betsy, that's awesome. Yeah, and so here is the twist. Why is this quilt different than a quilt? Why is this a rug different than a quilt? Um, I found paint on non-slip stuff that, fingers crossed, is hopefully here by tomorrow. And I'm going to paint that on the bottom of my beautiful Essex yarn dyed linen. <laughs> Oh, I'm rethinking that right now. And um, I'm gonna paint that on there to make it non-slip as well. So there is sewable non-slip fabrics. I found some by the yard. A lot of them were either shipped from Korea or China. And I didn't wanna wait that long. And also I was just like, well, who can I support locally? So I really ran into a lot of like roadblocks with that. Um, obviously like pajama, the like the non-slip, fabric for pajama feet, but that's a really small package. So yeah, between color palettes and shipping and everything, I tried to find something. Then this popped up at Joanne Fabrics, this non-slip stuff. My local Joanne Fabrics didn't have it, so I've ordered it. Um, here's the only thing I know about it so far. Um, I don't have it in my hands to show you yet. If you buy something like that, make sure that it's somewhere that's selling it because it does sound like if it's been sitting on their shelf too long, it's like a congealed rubber mass of goo and it doesn't work. So anyway, <laughs> wait, what is it? You mean, oh, you cool, cool. Oh, that's awesome, Adina. Yeah, that'll be a poof that you won't want to move. It'll be so heavy. <laughs> oh, you're going to have to try the Mobius strip and wash the entirety of it. Wait, wait. If you know how much you need one a window and a bathroom until you don't, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, that bathroom is pretty epic. I understand that. <laughs> so, you're still studying a bit? Oh. Yeah, what is this cool Adina food delivery thing? <clears throat> I'm glad you're here for the rugs, Betsy. I mean, at first I was like, oh, I've had this cool, unique idea. And then I realized it's a quilt. <laughs> I'm making a quilt. <laughs> I'm putting all this effort into a quilt for my floor that I'm probably going to wish I'd made as a throw quilt for something else. But then I was like, no, it's going to be non-slip. And I don't want to put that stuff on the ground that um, can move, you know, like a removable non-slip pad. We all know our struggles with that stuff. This non-slip paintable stuff sounds like it works better than any of those other things. So it doesn't sound like I need to coat the whole back of it. So I'm thinking I'll just maybe focus on maybe a couple of concentric circles or something like that, you know? So, yeah, right, Libby? I think so, too. I think two half circles seems far more practical. First one will probably turn out met, and the second one will turn out really good, <laughs> right? So, like I said, I'm going to be using, I wish they had their logo on here, but this is the Closet Core Patterns free pattern for the poof. You don't realize you need one of these until you've made one and you're like, wow, this thing's pretty cool. Uh, my dogs use it to get on and off the couch. Yeah, my dogs go on the couch. Yeah, judge me. I, you know what? I tried, you guys. They both came pre-made that way. I could not break Molly of it. So, and the pug's going to do whatever she does. So, <laughs> so, Oh gosh, I am like, there's a sewing solution for everything. Like all the crazy things I've done fabric or sewing solutions for. I should definitely do a video someday if I can think of them all. Like everything from roofs to my chicken tractors, which are movable pins, to water barriers, um, all kinds of crazy things that I've done. I, I, I made a coffee machine noise dampener. <laughs> I actually really love that thing. So, anywho. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing using this. I'm gonna be making it bigger though. So am I really using their pattern? Not quite. I originally was thinking I would make a little round um, rug. I'm putting this in the round, you know, the symbol for round. <laughs> 
So that would make, if you just use this piece, that would be about a 20 inch rug. So about this, about a 20 inch circle. That is, would be great in front of the toilet, in front of most spaces. Um, it would be a nice little pet mat. You don't have to make a whole poof. You could just make a little quilt. And I'm kind of considering that making one, um, these two half circles and then making one little full circle one. I think that'd be really cute. So, right Adina? Oh my gosh. Yeah, the bed, that also, yeah, I, I just judge me however you want. I am those people now. I never thought I'd be those people. I'm those people and that's why I am those people because I never thought I'd be those people. So, <laughs> cool. I'm really glad, Betsy. Hi, Beverly. How's it going? I'm going to have batting and backing too. Yeah, it's going to be a quilt. <laughs> it's a quilt. <laughs> right, Dar? Gosh, you know, I've learned so much about pugs. That's the other thing. We never thought we'd have a pug or a small dog. And he rules our lives. I mean, but in a really good way. I actually think he had the biggest impact on our family in a positive way than anything else in our entire lives. And we would all, I bet, hands down agree on that. He is, there's something about a per, the personality of a pug that is, it's just, it's amazing. Like their personality is just, it's so good. It's, they're so positive. They're such positive little creatures. You get used to the sounds they make and they actually become kind of comforting background sound, you know, but I've had friends, you know, say, oh, I would never have one of those smushed face dogs. I never thought I would either, but he needed a home and Brooke kept sending me cute videos and pictures of these two she rescued and she wasn't even trying to get me to adopt it, but I finally was like, Brooke, I think I want one of those. She's like, you do? I'm like, I do. And I'm really glad it was a good choice. So. Yeah, Zeus has his own couch. A dog named Zeus sounds like a big dog, Carrie. And Loki's a pretty small pug, too. You know, he's like 20 pounds. Right now, he has a little boo-boo between his toe. It's an interdigital majiggy. So, he always has something. They are definitely, if you're on a budget, um, I don't recommend getting a pug. They, they tend to have a lot of medical issues and I don't know if I'd get another one because of that, but I don't know. My husband, he has come full circle with the whole pug thing. Like he is like, he is into him. So, and he was like, <laughs> I want a real dog. He didn't really say it that way, but it's kind of what we were picking up on it. <laughs> and we always tease him about that now because he is, he's gonzo for him. All right, let's see, I'm gonna just, that, that, that arrangement kind of pleased me, so why try and figure it out all over again? All right, so we make a pattern piece here. So I think the one thing I've decided, this is my backing, I have this um, beautiful Essex yarn dyed linen. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> it's also blue, so I really wish I would have conveniently remembered my bathroom was in the green tones when I was sitting 15 feet from it, shopping for fabric, you know? I also have this, um, but it's not enough. It's a weird color, but I found it to be a nice basic. Okay. All right. So because I know I want these two half circles, um, I think the thing to remember is that the circle will be, like this is my experience with circles, right? So you have this circle that's a circle. I'm really good at cutting pie, by the way. Um, this is the circle, right? So when you just do a half of a circle, it is far more of a round shape than you realize. Whereas most half moon shapes like this aren't a half of a circle. You know what I mean? So that's the one thing to remember is that I'm going to get more of a round shape by using this pattern piece because really the, the circle would be more like here. You know what I mean? You see it? So we're, I think we're used to seeing these crescents, but they're not they're not actually half of a circle. So, yeah. 
<laughs> Pit Lab makes about 80 pounds. I knew he'd be big. <laughs> he's four of mine. <laughs> oh, he's born Dev and now he's his own. You know, we had a dog go uh, blind and her hearing kind of went, you know, a little bit too. And I, ha I was a chronic rearranger of the house and I had to stop because she kept getting like turned around. Made me really think about how much I affect my dog, you know. All right, so we're going to make this. So I think what I'm going to go for as far as size when I think about my bathroom, and I know I have like a 54 inch wide space, which is pretty big. Half of that would be 27. I do not need this rug to be 27 inches deep right here. Um, I'm thinking more like 24. So 24 means it's gonna be about 24 by 48 when it's all done. See, oh, sorry, <laughs> Dina. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I had to turn my Siri off and then when I turned it back on, it won't, doesn't work if I say, hey Siri, sorry, I'll probably all your phones just went crazy when I did that, but uh, yeah, sorry about that. All right, so now I just need to decide how big do I want this? Do I want this to be my finished uh, width? Do I want it to be wider? Because I am kind of thinking like this size wedge at the end is probably about what I'd want. So that means that I'm going to taper it further to an, a new vanishing point. But if you wanted to use this pattern piece and make it deeper, you know, you could go, okay, my finished wedge right now is about 10 inches, right? It's a little, it's like a 10 and an eighth or quarter. And say you want it to be, you know, 14, right? You can draw a line here and then just keep going. And it just means your wedge is gonna be bigger. Okay, so that's one way you could do it if you're feeling like, you know, you wanna keep it kind of simple. Um, I just wanna make sure that this is, I think this is actually in the middle, you know? So we're gonna put this wedge on here. Um, and I think I'll keep the seam allowances after my experience hand sewing the holes in my quilt <laughs> this weekend. Which I think is about three eighths, it looks like. Yeah, three eighths. Get my phone up there. So if I want it to be about 24 inches, do I really want it to be that big? That's a pretty long wedge. And then I'm going to, I don't usually do this with Sharpie and so it's a little inaccurate for me to do that. I need to draw my seam juncture, my finished seam juncture on there. And then we're going to redraw our wedge on here. When you're doing stuff like this, it's much safer to stay on the pure pattern size, not with the seam allowance, and then add your seam allowance after. So now I can just add it to these sides. What I like about using this pattern uh, like design is that it's one pattern piece. It really is going to make it a lot easier. I'm going for easy, quick, fun, mindless. We like all that stuff, right? <clears throat> it's quite a point there. So everything right here is extra right there. Really, you could you could probably go like this and chop it off. All right. Let's cut our pattern piece out. <laughs> That's awesome, Carrie. <laughs> I like that story. My, my friend really teased us for naming Loki Loki because um, 
It was the hardest we'd ever had to name an animal, and I, I'm not a um, Marvel fan or, I'm sorry, I don't even know uh, about like wh where Loki is uh, as far as the superhero thing goes. I mean, I know about like as far as, um, you know, gods and myths and things like that. Um, and she said, I just love how you guys all picked a name from a fandom none of you actually follow. Yeah, you know. We had so much trouble naming him that we it went we went days and days without a name and we ended up having a thing where each of us had to bring ten names every night after dinner. We'd sit in the living room, read each other's names, say yay or nay, and then whatever if we didn't like any of them, even the person giving the names would be like, I don't really like this, but this is the names I came up with. Um then finally we narrowed it down and we voted on them. And we all, we all would only vote on names we all three agreed. Okay, that could work. And then so we put all the ones we all agreed on. It was consensus. <laughs> Thank goodness there were only three of us. All right, so here's my new wedge. So let's see, this is my, this is gonna be my, ooh, I'm kind of rethinking that, I'm kind of rethinking my wedge shape I might want it bigger. Ooh, I kind of want it bigger. I wonder how many it would take. Hmm. I wonder if it's always 12 to make a circle. Probably not, right? Like there's probably some weird geometry thing that no matter, right? Because you can make a circle anywhere on here. That is so interesting. Because you would need 12 of these to make um, a little poof. Oh yeah, it wouldn't be the same as this because it's not the same diameter down here. Hmm, how much bigger would I want it? Now that I look at it. Ah, Betsy, thanks for following. <laughs> I haven't seen the zombie on Twitch in so long. <laughs> I love that you're on Twitch too. Yeah, exactly, Carrie, me too. There's this really fun series, um, The Iron Druid Chronicles. And he has a dog named Oberon that he can converse with, the druid does. And um, I really loved the spin on all of the god goddess stuff that he that that author does. It's called the Iron. The series is called the Iron Druid Chronicles. It's it's pretty it's pretty clever. I also really loved that Percy Jackson, um, the Lightning Thief series for kids. That is a really good series. Like I, I definitely was really into that series. And then he did a Roman version. No, I don't, Carrie. I used to. I used to stream simultaneously on Twitch and YouTube and then the app I was using to do that stopped working and even the people who developed that couldn't get it to work for me. So I just abandoned it. And then Twitch changed their terms of service. So I, I think it goes um, affiliate, then partner, and I'm an affiliate. I don't, I think it's okay for me to do it on there as an affiliate, but not as a partner. And I just figure I don't really wanna go down that road offering it, because Twitch is my favorite platform to watch live streams as well. Um, I feel like it's really easy, uh, but I'm not sure that it will I just didn't want to be breaking terms of service eventually. So, <laughs> right, Carrie, I know. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. How big do I want this? I feel like I'm going to need about, let's see, 24 of those. I don't want to do 24 wedges. <laughs> I could do the math right now, but I can't do math in front of people. So there's that. What do you think? I kind of like, I like this width. So maybe I just need to make it like three quarters wider. 
Yeah, hmm. I think I will. I wish I wouldn't have folded my paper, but I did. Let's see, can we get our, maybe we can get it on this one. Probably not though. Oh yeah, maybe we can. I don't know why my phone is on. That's so weird. It's just sitting there on the like lock screen. Uh, Dina, yeah, there's a lot of uh, cosplay streamers on there. I say a lot, but I, I will be honest with you. I just felt like my style of sewing is better suited to a YouTube crowd. As far as the demographic goes and the fact that I'm doing like um, garments, like everyday garments and things like that. So Miriam Felton's on there. So if you're, a, if you're, you're pretty crafty and um, like knitting and stuff like that, she streams on Twitch. What am I doing? I'm gonna add about a half inch there to nothing down here. Oh, and her her Twitch handle is um, Mim is making, and she does all kinds of stuff like. Talk about a multi craftual person. I've seen her make leather shoes, uh, bind books. Um, I mean, and she's a, a knitting designer. That's how I knew her. And I hardly ever see her knit on there, which is kind of funny. All right, almost done here. Adventures Wanded. Oh, it's, El <laughs> it's Lord of the Rings adjacent. That's pretty funny. Does he like it? I like Lord of the Rings. I find the world, I mean, it's definitely the, the genre, right? Um, but there, even as a kid, I really noticed the lack of women in it. And that was just kind of a bummer, you know? It was just kind of like, oh, okay, you know? Yeah, and the um, there's other kinds of sewing on Twitch, but I think the bulk of what you're gonna see is cosplayers, and there's some pretty big cosplayers on there. I don't know if all of their sewing they do on camera, though. The, I, and I, like, I admit, I don't even actually watch any sewists on there, to be honest, but, I will tell you the quality of a lot of the camera stuff is just, it's not quite there, so. But I actually like seeing like the, some of the projects they're doing are really amazing. And um, one of them I ended up following on Instagram and I was pretty surprised by like it was really cool seeing like the the cons she was going to and her full outfits when they were all done because we didn't get to see that on twitch i didn't i probably just didn't see her stream it when she would i feel like i've taken a few too many liberties with this pattern let's hope it all works just a rug yeah oh yeah can i write her name yeah let's see wait Let's see if I can find her channel and I'll give you guys a link to it. Um, I'm not gonna show you who I follow on Twitch. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see, where is she? Wish they were alphabetized. That would be just so helpful. Let 
Let's see. Um, I think there's a share. I'm gonna have myself a real good time. How do I share it? Okay, well, I'll just do this. Here we go. Yeah, so this is her channel. And she does everything. And she has a schedule. I think she pretty much does it regularly too, which is nice because I, I do feel like there's a quite a few um, folks on Twitch, but they don't really have a regular schedule. So you kind of don't know what you're going to be getting into, like what you're gonna have available to you when you log in. And so if you guys are new to Twitch and you're trying to navigate it, um, Twitch is different than YouTube in that you do have to have an account to watch things on Twitch, but it's very simple because it's only a platform for live streaming. That is all it is. And so you follow someone and then you have a follow list. It's just so much easier than YouTube. Um, and then there's categories. And so you, obviously gaming is the dominant thing on there, but if you, there's a category called makers and crafting. And all of the sewing, unfortunately, is under this one heading. And that makers and crafting category, you're gonna see some pretty amazing stuff. You're gonna see car repair, computer building, um, those weird little plastic beads people glue together into pictures, uh, Lego building, like you name it. Anything that is not a game, not just chatting, and not their new category, I won't even mention <laughs> because I'm a little bit like, whoa. Um, that is gonna be under the makers and, and um, makers and whatever, makers and crafting, so. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, Martina. Yeah, and tell her I said hi if you log in. I sometimes watch her, but I'm on my gaming account. I don't say hi. <laughs> they know my gaming account, but I just, I don't know. Okay. Let's see here. All right, so let's cut, cut these out. You know, I kind of wish I knew more. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'm limited to, these aren't, wait, these aren't half yard bundle. <gasps> wait a minute. I am pretty sure I ordered a half yard bundle. How did I not notice this? A lot of miniature painting, exactly. What the heck? Stare me. How did I not notice this? No. I did. Wait, wait. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did a half yard bundle. Mm. Wow. Well, um, they're fat quarters. I'll have to look at my receipt closer. <laughs> Dang it. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm disappointed. <sighs> Hi, Walter. How's it going? Okay, so. I think like, let's see here. I'll just, I mean, I could do this. It just, it really bisects my fabric like a lot, you know? Yeah, because the way you order it on there is you can order it as a fat quarter bundle or half yard bundle, then you add if you want continuous yardage, you know? So, 
I mean, I can get my thing in there, but only for one, you know, like one rug. So if I can, if I do that, what does that leave me? I could do a slightly smaller rug. Well, kind of a big difference. It's only going to be 18 inches wide. How do I feel about that? I could put a border on it. Yeah, I did Libby. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. It's kind of hard to tell by the receipt because of the way it's listed. Yeah, and now it's out of stock. <laughs> yeah, I can tell by the price. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong, you guys. But I don't do fat quarters. I like um I like can I like yardage. Uh, yeah, I could, Malin. Hi, Julia. Hi, Penny. No, I got um this is a Carolyn F Friedlander. Yeah, a border would be nice. Border would be nice. I could just make a curved border, you know, or maybe even one on the bias. Wham! Mm. All right, so let's make my wedge yet again a different shape. All right, so we we're making lemonade, right? I can make it, oh, a circle in the middle. Um, yeah, I like the idea of that, except that I think I'm a little flustered for that pattern drafting right now. You know what I mean? Because that would mean you'd cut off your, your center. You know what I mean? Like you'd cut it off right here. You'd have to calculate that geometry to make sure your wedge fit around the circle perfectly. So two fat quarters together. Yeah, I don't, I don't have it. <laughs> I got one fat quarter set though, and I ordered a half yard. I, at least I thought I ordered a half yard. So we adjusting lemonade. So, piecing is period, wait. <laughs> wait, is he for you? You're not live on camera, Beverly. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, honestly, I've had to get to lemonade so many times uh, that it, it, uh, I feel like it sometimes ends up being a better project when you get to lemonade. Lemonade, lemonade. My only worry right now is I don't have enough to do two rugs and I really want two matching rugs, you know? This is loose, there we go. Derek, how's it going? Oh, nice, good going. Yeah, I like the fat quarters as eye candy. And you know, they are, they have their place. They're useful. They're just not useful for my style of sewing, you know? And so um, when I saw that they, they had some fabric once that, once that I wanted, I asked her, I was like, hey, oh shoot. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I was like, hey, you know, do you know, like, do you make bundles where I could get, like, yardage? Because I love that she's curating the bundle. You know what I mean? That's pretty cool. And 
I don't want to spend my time picking all the fabrics and sometimes I'm like, I just want everything from this collection, but I want it in a fat yard, right? This means this fabric right here is one way. I'm going to, I'm going to think about this. I need to do a trial run first. I think that's what's happening here as far as like how many I'm going to get. So. If I put, oh, if we cut the wedges kind of diagonally and piece them, you get a little star shape around. I like the idea of whatever that is. I'm not quite under, understanding it. Go grab another fabric from your stash. And I can make two identical. I wanted two identical, like, like two identical with these fabrics. <laughs> I'm making lemonade. Doesn't mean I have to drink the lemonade. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> well, this has a yard, so that's, that's promising. All right, so then this one here, I'm not even sure I have enough. Well, I don't, probably don't have enough. Maybe I have one enough for like two. And you know, my stash isn't, isn't, is all behind me. It's not very big. That's, I think Julia, you're just probably describing it well. It's that um, I can interpret it a few different ways. Pink lemonade, there you go. I just kind of want a general knowledge of where this, this line is. I need to get these lined up better. I won't say what I was about to say. <laughs> oh man. First I scrapped a video I was editing this morning. I had made this video on attaching snaps. Um, and I don't know, I, I scrapped, I'm gonna scrap it because it sounded too conversational like I was live streaming. And I know people are going to be like, holy cow, lady, get to your point. <clears throat> and I was, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It could easily be a six minute video and it was not shaping up to be a six minute video. Like it should be, you know. All right, that's pretty accurate, but not perfectly accurate. And I think I'm gonna cut this other one right now while it's sitting here. I'm pretty sure I need it. This one right here, oh, it's more than an 18, 18 inches. Okay, well, they're generous fat, fat quarters. There's that. Cause I didn't make this 18 inches. I'm <laughs> really pushing it. Okay. Oh, I think I've seen that, Julia. I don't think I have the bandwidth right now to adjust on the fly. I'm just not a very experienced quilter. But I think I've seen that and it is really cute. I think that's, that would be such a cute idea for a rug too, you know?
All right. Let's put these over here. We have those, those, um, and we're probably going to need, because the other thing I haven't figured out is how many of these wedges I need to make a um, half circle, half circle. You know what, let's use that. Let's use that edge right there. Make sure we're still straight because these lines will bug me because it's already gonna bug me that it's upside down, but it's a rug, right? <laughs> like literally Loki's gonna get more use of it than me because he is always with me and he sleeps on the bathroom rug when I'm in the shower. In fact, if I just open the shower door, he just walks in with me. Okay, so we have this and this pile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. imagine if I planned this out. <laughs> hey Barbara, how's it going? We're making lemonade. What direction do I want this to go? I think I want it to go like that, like the horizontal across the point. Let's see. I have this fabric. Hmm, I kind of want a couple of this with the green. Can I get two out of this? No, but maybe when I turn it. All right. Okay, so I might make the executive decision to just do four menswear, but I like Beverly's idea of doing the three quarter zip. Um, except I need to get fabric and a pattern for that. And I'll, I'm gonna look back at the, cause you sent me an email, right Beverly, about suggestions for that. I also did that one sponsored stream from apparel pattern drafting. Remember that you guys? I'm pretty sure that was a good pattern for that as well. Okay, where'd that, there it is, okay. So now we have all those, and I feel like I need more, and I feel like that's enough for one rug right now. Yeah, right, Derek? Yeah, this is, um, most of these, I think all of those so far that I've cut are by uh, the designer Carolyn Friedlander. I really love her prints. They're just really, they're just really cool. Yeah, they've got, like this one right here is very architectural looking. Even the wrinkles kind of go with it. And you know, this one's the ledger, which I had a green version of this. It's upside down on the camera. Um, and then obviously I have all those blues as well, so. But yeah, they're, I, this is one of my favorites. And it came in three colors. There's like this um, gray, like, like it's like a taupe blue grid and black. I, I love it. It kind of looks like um, topography, you know? Wait, there's a third color. 
Oh, the third color is probably blue. Wait, no, here it is right here. I love it. Yeah, exactly, Libby. This I would have to piece. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to use it or not. I know I'm not in the mood for piecing now. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. I wanna see how my half circle is shaping up with just one set. Okay. And then I'm going to have to do a border. It's close. Yeah, I can get, um, all right, well, that's good. I can get one rug. In fact, more than one rug, look at that. So, cause I'm hanging off the table. This one kind of sticks out, huh? <laughs> Me too, Derek. Me too. I like florals though. When you made the strip quilt from a pre-cut bundle, yeah, yeah, right, Beverly? I remember that, and you made a rug. That's right. It looks better on the end of a bed. <laughs> really? I was so inspired by that, the fact that you were doing a rug out of that. That was from the Jelly Roll quilt. Yeah. You know, Derek, She, I did a Jelly Roll quilt out of her fabrics, but I will say... Um, so the, the, this one right here was in the bundle and I didn't even use any of these because I don't know, they just didn't go very well with my, my quilt, but, um, that bundle, like I looked at it for months and months and it had all these yarn dyed fabrics in it that were so good and so good for like shirts and things like that, like you're saying. So Oh, okay, Libby, is that the, cause Beverly has one that is um, a, a three-quarter zip pullover as well. All right, and so what will we do as a border? I mean, this is almost big enough for a rug, but it's kind of small. I mean, do I do some, oh, I could do this. I might have enough for this, you know, stuff here. <laughs> yeah, right, Beverly? Like, let me, let me experiment on mine. <laughs> okay, so let's, I'm hoping I, I have, I'm not sure I have the full piece here, though. Let's see, where, how, how bad is it? Oh, it's not too bad. That's within, that's barely within, but it's within. Okay, cool. So do I like this? I think I'm gonna put this on the end, end somewhere. Put this one more prominent. Um, and let's swap. I have like three pink ones together and all these tans over here. So let's swap. Maybe this one, no. This one here. This one right here goes here. Not much green in here, mostly peach. That kind of works. And maybe I'll do this. And I think what will end up happening is I'll be cutting these in half like this. Like that. I'm not sure about this one. It's kind of heavy. Same with this one. All right, you guys are like deleting messages <laughs> left and right. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> I 
All right. Let's see here. I have plenty of this I could do as a border, but eh. Eh. I have her other fabrics. These are the other ones, Derek, in the bundle. They're pretty nice. This one has metallic on it. And this one is this print here, this, and it's, but it's just dark. It's like black lines on navy blue. I love all these. <laughs> oh, that's true, Barbara. That could work. I kind of like organic shapes, though. <laughs> Remember to <sure it> sends. <laughs> Send. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do this. I'm not going to think too much about this. I'm probably, what time is it? Okay, yeah, I'll probably get to the sewing here. I'll do both of my half circles. And then I want to kind of decide the rest of my pieces. That way I can start quilting. So I'm gonna start quilting them off camera so that you guys don't have to sit through all that because I'm hoping that non-slip stuff. <laughs> oh, Sarah, that's fine, it's fine. You're fine. You're welcome to reply to a question. And, and did I not reply to the question? Because please ask again if I missed your question. Sorry about that. Sorry if I missed a question. Let's see, we'll do this one in a slightly different order. All right, this one, this one, this one. Oh, and this one. That works. Kind of want you right here and you right here. All right. We're not thinking too much. This is the only part I hate about quilting is figuring out your fabrics. It's just too many possibilities. It really overwhelms me. Yeah, right, Derek? I know, and when you see the quilt from far away, I think that's what I like about it, is it doesn't actually look like prints. It looks like um, they're just like low volume, um, just like background fabric. Hi, Sydney, how's it going? All right, so let's sew these together. I'm gonna move to the other camera, to the machine, which should be right here. Where is it? Here it is. Turn on the iron as we drive by. Yeah, it's funny, Derek, because I have really liked her fabrics for a while and I didn't I didn't actually realize I was really consistent, oh sorry, in what and then and that I was always liking fabrics from the same designer. I don't really pay attention a whole lot to designers. Um a ha a border Okay, so the half circle in the center would take some math, like some math, because if we took, uh, clipped this off, right, we cut it right here, you'd have to find out how many of those to make up a circle. Like, we're talking serious geometry, people. <laughs> I, love, I love doing that stuff. I used to do it for hat making and other, um, like dry suits and things like that where you have circles involved and I actually the only geometry stuff I have is I have the three equations over there all about diameter and pi and radius so now nah, I'm just gonna do cotton penny I don't care <laughs> now because these two won't get wet the one by the shower will 
slices come off of a circle in the center. Oh, I see. So like once I sew it, I cut out the circle. That's a potential. I mean, that would be good. Bye. <laughs> Like a fan quilt. Yeah, and someone else, I like had the idea of making, like clipping it right here, right? And making it like a star. This is why I don't quilt on camera. I don't know anything. No. <laughs> Let's do it. We're just gonna start sewing. You did, Derek? I'm so excited. What are you gonna get? So remember, this is quilting cotton. I think you could do camp shirts nicely though with that. I am trying to sew at a 3 8 inch seam and it's not happening. Oh, you know what? I actually want to change my needle. Sorry guys. I was doing so much bag making yesterday with that really heavy duty fabric and I know my needle needs to be changed. I can, I could feel it. I love that you're really excited, Derek. Yeah, you could do that, Walter. I, but the, I think um, originally we were thinking of styles that would still give me the same size that I wanted and using less fabric, right? None of these change the idea that I don't have more fabric, to be blunt. I still, I still need fabric. I don't really have a whole lot in the way of like bigger scraps, you know? This will all, what you guys are all saying will all be perfectly clear to me when I'm not streaming. You know what I mean? Like it's one of those things where it'll like pop into my head like, oh yeah, that's what they meant. When I'm not trying to think of three other things. I need to please thread the deedle. <laughs> Regretting going down to a size 14 right now. Okay, there we go. All right, I think that'll make me more accurate now. Let's see what I get when I put these together and then we'll look at ways to make it bigger. I kind of like the idea of clipping the points off. I would have had to do that already though. I know I should iron in between each one, right? And my seam allowance wavered right here too. I think all of us really only care about getting to the non-slip paint. <laughs> am I right? <laughs> I mean, I am, I'm excited about the non-slip paint. I wanna have something to paint by then. Checking my point. This one, the seam allowance is pretty dicey. I even, you know, like wanted to get out Procreate and interview all the things for this because 
I thought that would be kind of fun. You could put your picture of your bathroom in the background, like kind of reduce the opacity, and then you could interview different things. And I was like, oh, maybe I could make like a little rug out of my fabrics. And, and then I was like, how much effort do I really, do I really want to do all this? I kind of did, honestly, you know, just to check. And I normally would even have made like the, uh, like something the same size footprint to see if that's what I wanted in there. Since I'm changing the shape. Cause right now I have two little rectangular rugs, you know, I need to probably iron soon. I'm not going to backstitch that. Let's go iron. Am I in the way of the camera? I'm not, right? No, I'm not. Okay. Ooh, I got an alert. Oh wait, this is going this way. Thanks for subscribing, April. Why is this one going this way and all these others are going this way? It's going this way. Uh, there we go. Right? I can get rid of this one here. I'm going to take this one out right here just to make sure. But we, you know, this is a, this is a good opportunity. Like if you don't get very good uh, <laughs> points, at the center of your circle, you, you, then you, yeah, then you cut away the circle, but then you have to set in a circle. But I guess you could do what Walter said and applique it in. I don't, that means I have to use a zigzag. I don't really have a zigzag. All right, there's my point and I need to get rid of these. I know there's techniques and I wasn't even thinking about employing them. I probably should have as I was sewing. better but this is my wait yeah that'll that'll work that'll work it's gonna be fine hello how's it going <laughs> it's okay how's your arm doing Nancy this is a pretty uh, slapdash stream and project <laughs> one of those spontaneous things I decided to act on without doing a ton of prep If I just sew over all of them with my same seam allowance, they are going to line up except for thicknesses, push things out of the way. Now I have that new thing at the bottom of my um, computer on the taskbar that has the weather. And it says, it, every day this week, it has said, warning. It says, it has a yellow sun, 
uh, the temperature, which is 86 degrees, and then the word warning in red. So I think that that means I only substituted one fabric that's not hers. What, maybe it is hers. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Like, see, this is a good example, Derek. I, I bought this because it's very much the same kind of thing. I love these kinds of fabric. And I have this in three different colors. One of which is like this fuchsia that I'm, I was like, oh yeah, I don't know why I got that one, so. Aww. Yeah, right, Libby? That's what I'm thinking, too. It's because I'm so low on fabric, I don't really want to cut anything off at this point. Um, I think I'd much rather just add to it. But the, the star idea has really stuck with me. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that on the little... I was gonna do like a little round one. I probably don't have enough fabric though. Oops. I'm gonna trim this off. Oof. I'm getting a little off now, aren't I? Although if this was, see, why is this one way over here? I, you know what, I'm really sorry. I'm not really doing a good job on this. And I'm not like, I, I should have like done my, my whole like method of getting the centers to line up. Like my floor poof looks, all my floor poofs look so good there. And um, I'm not even, I'm just like doing this. because I'm so eager to see how much fabric I have. And I hate it. I always do that to myself. I will rush something because I'm eager to see the results. Right? But these two right here are a little bit off down here, but look at all those. Those all match really good. <laughs> it's just these first two that don't. I got a little off there. Just look at those. <laughs> but that's pretty good. All right, so here, let's iron these. So Adina, I thought you were done. Like, wh when are you done, done? When do we get to start seeing you again? And when are you, because you're, you're, you're studying. I mean, I'm not trying to rush it. You should take your time. We're always going to be here. I don't mean to distract you to make you ch type in chat. It's probably, you're not the only student here, that's for sure. You guys are almost to summer and teachers. You've ha you guys have all had such a crazy year. Good job. All right. You know, I don't even need these two. I don't even need these two. They're gonna come off. Cause that is my uh, half circle. All right, well, good to know. We'll only do nine of the others. We'll just do nine this time and we will take out, we're gonna take out this one And I'm looking at that other one. And where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This one. And we're going to move. The gray one somewhere else. Oh, actually what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove this one. No. 
Yes. Okay. That's the plan. Actually, let's move this one real quick. I keep trying to get this gray one away from the end over here, and then it keeps going back over there. Crap. <laughs> Dang it. Eleven teaching days. Nice. We'll do that. Yeah, my friend who's a teacher, these two are the same print. Is that going to bug me? I think that there's too many lines over here. So let's move you right here. And then we'll put you here. Okay, that's it, I promise, I promise, okay. It's gonna look so different when it's all done. It just doesn't, it doesn't matter a whole lot. It all looks like it goes together once it's done. Exactly, Barbara, and it's gonna, the point is actually gonna be under the counter. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> We're not heirloom quilting here. We're making a bathroom rug that one day will end up being, you know, like in the garage once it's, you know, 10 years from now when it's paid its dues already. Don't you love how I figure out the, the order and then I reverse it by the way I think I'm up and sew them. <laughs> This fabric looks like it was ripped. It's kind of stretched out along that edge there. All right, we're gonna always push our point that way. So I have two game recommendations for people. I think I may have mentioned one. Um, one of them is called It Takes Two. I think I told you guys about this, it's new. It's really fun. It does take two people. You can play it sitting next to each other or um, you can invite a friend. Like there's two different ways to do the co-op. And um, <clears throat> it's really cute. Like. Especially people who have gamed a lot, which I haven't, they will definitely find a ton of little Easter eggs in there because you you are this, you're this couple, this married couple. The whole premise of this game is kind of shifty, I will say, only because it feels kind of like a, kind of like a, I'm not a big fan of the premise of the game. I don't mind real world stuff in games, but this is so goofy and silly and fun. And the overarching premise is that this couple is getting, they've decided to get a divorce. And so the little girl they have has made these little dolls of them. Press this thing this way. And somehow there's like a, I don't know, something happens and these two become the, the dolls. These, the parents become these dolls. And now you have to control them through this world and you're trying to get back and you know, you, you're in denial like, and, and there's this book of relationship advice and he's kind of guiding you. The story aside, the gameplay is so much fun and they try and incorporate every single style of gameplay you've ever done from the 80s to now. And it's very subtle and it's really fun and 
you have to work with your partner to do things and it is so cute. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of cussing in it, but it would be fun for kids to do, except for this whole overarching divorce thing it is a little bit stressful, you know, like, come on. And they, they kind of bicker. But for the most part, like the whole gameplay thing is really fun. Um, and then this same company has done another game called it, um, A Way Out, which people probably have heard of. And you are two prisoners. And that one also kind of has that dark, it's kind of a, a, like a heavy premise, the fact that you're these prisoners and you escape and it takes the two of you to escape. I just started playing that one last night. That one is way easier, way faster paced, I felt like. The other, no, the other one's really fast paced though, as far as like all the goofy little things you do. I mean, you, you are, it is really fun. It is really cute. So anyway. Oh, Adina, graduate May 2024. Woo woo. We're going to have a big party. That's right around the corner, lady. Probably doesn't feel like it to you. I know, but um, probably time to start pressing. All the quilters out there are like, it was time to start pressing the very first seam, Sarami. <laughs> I only have two more wedges and I haven't pressed once. <laughs> Should I just try? Should I live on the edge? <laughs> Let's do it. That way we can get to the other part. You're studying to become a lawyer, right, Adina? Or are you already a lawyer? You've told me, and now I forgot. Change it, it bugs you. Change what? I think you're in the past, Adina. She's in the past. She's probably telling me to change fabrics from before and I'm like already done sewing it now. <laughs> All right. Oh, we only needed nine, right? Okay, we got that. Okay, let's go iron this. Much better. <laughs> lighting isn't the best over here. Okay. I like this stripe. I'm really glad I had it. It's kind of fun. That came in a bunch of different colors. It was the only fabric of that huge bundle I didn't use for that quilt. Um, it just was it's just a little bit different of a vibe compared to all the other fabrics in there. It's kind of stuck out. Okay. All right. We need to take these two wedges off. Now we know nine is the number. Why not start the pressing from the other end? Um, I wasn't being very strategic. Do you mean like from the center? Should I have done that? Let's see, I can bring the mouse and a seam ripper. Oh, and I didn't move the monitor. All right, let's take off these. Is this the one I double stitched? It probably is. Okay, well, let's see. 
Let's think about this. I could take two off at this end or two off at this end. So do I want it to look like, I definitely want this gray one gone, I think. Maybe I want it like this. Or like this. Hmm. from the side I am pressing from. Oh, why do I start from this side? Just so I can make sure that I'm getting the seam allowances flat. I think I kind of want this. Yeah, that's kind of what I want, of course, right? All right, well, I can fix this later. But let's, I'm gonna remind myself here Is that what you mean, uh, Bar Barbara? <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take these two off and I'm gonna take these off. I'm gonna replace that one there and get rid of that one. Okay, there's one, and then here's my other one. Oh, that's funny, they're gonna be opposite. Uh, I like these though, I like them. All right, so now we need to decide size-wise, what am I doing? I mean, let's see. So I have this fabric here. It's not really the color I was going for, but it would actually go really well in my bathroom because there's a lot of this apricot color in the um, tile. Why is the camera so far away? There we go. I mean, that's a little better. I have this and I was gonna do this as the back, this blue. So it can't get wider than the, the um, back of this. So I have a half here. We start on the end you're pressing toward. You need to keep lifting your iron. If you start at the other end, you don't need to lift the iron. I wanna understand that. If you start, so if I'm, oh, meaning like why am I starting at this end where the seam allowance is pushing this way? Oh, no reason. It's just such a cramped spot to do ironing. That's probably all. That's probably all it is. Bye, Dar. Nice seeing you. <laughs> That's awesome, Adina. That's pretty cool. Judge Adina. Judge Cole. I like that. Okay. Um, do I have enough to put a border? So what are we thinking? Let's just look and see what we think a border, like this color. And I liked your idea of making like, oh, I could make, you know, a big square with the wedge, you know, I mean this inside. Um, do I like this color? It's okay. I feel very old lady-ish doing that. Um, I mean, I don't have a whole lot of Essexes. I have this blue and this teal. If I'm going with this blue thing, I feel like I should just stick with that because it works. And down here, don't have a whole lot of green. Um, my greens are pretty limited. This is pretty bright. Hmm, what's in here? I have this huge rainbow bundle, but 
I don't think any of the greens are going to work. Oh, no. RBG was fantastic. No, 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 don't do that, computer. I feel like this border is a little bit blah. And of my prints, I mean, I don't want to do anything like, like this, right? I probably don't have enough to do two rugs with it, but you know. Let's see if I had this much, I could probably do. Okay, so one of my fat quarters will work as a border if I wanted to do that. So I could do this black. It's kind of heavy. Um, I have this grayish brown. No, what do you guys think? I don't know if I'd get a border here too, but it seems like that would look the best if I did it all the way around. I have more of these. What if I made, oh no, I don't like that. Um. I seriously didn't plan on doing a border, so this is kind of throwing me off a little bit. The dark blue for the border. Um, oh, these, are you thinking these two? They're like a black and a, a grayish brown. I have this. My bathroom's kind of green. That's my only issue with that. I have this, this, uh, what about something like that? That would actually probably really work well, to be honest. It's not a print. I don't know, what do you guys think? It's not a print. I, I'm gonna have to figure out a binding too. Pretty dark. Yeah, I think it's too dark too. The, the dark chambray is the, supposed to be the back. But I'm, I'm kind of feeling like, um, I wonder if I have something. I feel like putting the paint stuff on this is a crying shame, you know. But I thought it would be nice and neutral. I'm trying to do a border right now. Uh, binding's a whole other thing I have to figure out still. But we have a lot of bindings to pick from. You like that better? Because remember, my bathroom's kind of greenish. I don't know, Leslie. I do have a bunch of these. Wait, do I have a bunch of these? I also have, oh, I have a bunch in this, this neutral color. What about that? That actually might be the ticket. What do you think of the neutral? Oh yeah, I think that this is far more believable. Oh yeah, I like that, Sarah. I like that idea. We should let Malin decide. <laughs> Scallops. All right, Leslie, now you're talking crazy. <laughs> oh, that's true, Barbara. Yes, Carrie. No, it doesn't, Beverly. It was just what I bought because I was thinking at the time that I was going to sew on the non-slip. I didn't have any yet. I was about to zoom in for you guys, just so you could see a little better. Yeah, 
you know. The floor is a white, tiny <laughs> white tile. This is my bathroom. See, it's tiny little white tile. And Sarah's right, I have a very dark grout. And see, my bathroom is pretty, it's got this paint, this like light green and the cabinets, I forgot. Uh, I feel like, can you see that? Is that? Oh, that's tile right there. See, and then look at the tile back here, uh, right here around the window. See? It's kind of rainbowy, but it's got this tan element to it. Um, and then this right here, the cabinet is is light green. The lighting's really bad. Yeah, exactly, Barbara. Yeah, the little hex, hexagonal. These things are so interesting. Like when I'm walking up the stairs, you look right into the bathroom floor. Like you're looking at like right here, straight in this way. And all of these things look perfectly laid out, like they spaced them perfectly. But when you're looking, coming up the stairs and looking in, there's, there's something up with one. And it's so crazy that you can see it that way, but you can't see it any other direction, you know? So, okay, so green screen the time. Yeah, and this is more like a, yeah, see it's like a woven. I'm kind of leaning towards, I think I have enough for sure for, with this. It's a little more neutral. I wish I had yardage of this. That would be great for the back, wouldn't it? Not the navy, yeah, I think you're right about that. And then, Where's that? And there was this, but this is kind of, kind of, I don't know, boring. <laughs> I like it, but it's boring. <laughs> this would be a good backing as well, but I don't have enough. I've butchered it already. Y'all think I have a big old fabric stash? That's mostly scraps back there. <laughs> the only fabrics I have that are not cut are these two rows. And one of those bins is napkins. That's it. Send fabric, help. <laughs> oh, Walter, yeah, I have. It's cute. Actually, I never finished that game. I let my friend Kirby play it when she was visiting, and I forgot to finish it. They came out with a second one. Unra it's called um, Unraveled. Yeah. I have a little bit of poison oak, I think. Um, all right, let's see. Do we have enough? And how am I going to do this border? You know, like curve. Curve. I have three of these. I don't think I have enough. Maybe I do. Yeah, right, Barbara? I know. What part, Leslie? Med the peach. Yeah, I think you're right. It would be fine underneath, right? We don't really care about the underneath. And you know, like Barbara, what if I did something like this? You know, like I have a bit, I could do one of my rugs in this and I don't really care about the back, right? As much. Do I want them both to be the same? Let's just do this. We know we have it. We're tired of, <laughs> We are tired of um, worrying about fabric right now <laughs> as far as how much we're going to have. <laughs> so what if I cut bias, pieced it together, and then sewed it on? Do I want to do that? Or do I want, I could do two bands at a time, two, 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 and then one. Cause I want it to be flat, right? I can't just cut straight pieces. If I did that, it won't lay flat. 
Yeah. Let's put it, make a pattern piece then. And then we'll cut those out. I don't know why, but I'm into my scrap bin today. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it would lay flat either. That's why I don't really want to do that. So I'm going to use my um, pattern piece here. Let's see if I can. No, that's not going to work. Ooh, I barely made it on there. That's not a very good uh, sign that it's not. You know, I noticed that. I should have fixed it. It's not a right angle, so we're going to have to fix that. Um, what do we think? I think I can get two inches. So right now I'm drawing a parallel line to this edge here and I'm making it two inches wide in relation to where the seam line is on here. But I need to smooth out some curves here, obviously. And then we could use I don't know if I'm going to get this much, but we're going to, we're going to shoot for the moon here. Lots of colors in the bathroom. <laughs> As a, the one person who knows me in real life said on that Instagram post, um, just, you're just always being you, Sarah, me or something like that. I'm like, yeah, well, I really don't know what else to do. <laughs> I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of uh, hacking this a little bit because this curve right here isn't quite right. So I need to take my quilt and shave like that off right there to make it right angles at the junctures. You would figure the diameter and then do a long arc. Yeah, I mean, I think I would if I were making a pattern. I think that would be a, a good way to go, honestly. And and piece it together, like the few amount, the few, the fewest amount of seams. <laughs> right, Gary. I can't remember what she said, but I was like, yeah, I felt like saying, you know, I don't really have friends in real life here so that's someone that knew me at a time when our house was the like house that hosted all of the things like our house was the house like so people were always at our house and we were hosting these amazing get togethers it was really fun I loved it Make a nice parallel. It's the piece is kind of meh right now. I'm going to trim it a little bit more. I should staple this together because it's really easy to get off track and be un inaccurate when it's not, you know. But I'm going to tell you right now, this fabric, once it's cut, it just starts going <laughs> So it's going to be kind of the wild west here in just a second. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm going to see how many I can get before I cut. Because worst case scenario, I can take out the hems and I'd have a bigger piece of fabric. So I can get um, 
three. Oh, I'm going to be fine. So what did I say I needed on there? I needed like three and a half, right? Two, three, four and a half. All right. So this is actually all I need. I need, yeah, like nine of them. Oh, I know, Adina. That's true. We should do a scrap exchange. That would be fun. I'm going to cut these off here. These are the hems. Just to get my blade started so I don't cut my pattern. If you don't know the story behind my napkin thing is... I went into World Market and I was clearly starved for in-person fabric shopping and they had all these napkins on sale for a dollar each and I quickly did the math and figured out it was cheaper than buy the yard fabric and I loved some of the fabrics. They've been proving so useful and kind of fun to have so I washed all of them and ironed them and that was kind of a project. I've so far made a blouse. Uh, I think I did the backing on my mom's little quilt. <laughs> Wait, I got my bins kind of confused there. Thanks for uh, helping me out with the production sewing yesterday, you guys. That was kind of just the thing I needed. I have uh, 25 of them done now, which is great. You know, I was thinking the same thing, Adina, because I have all the rest of the fat quarters. I mean, maybe I didn't get, maybe I didn't order a fat uh, a half yard bundle. I'm going to check. But it all worked out. And I used less fabric, right? So I have... Um, on one of the projects I did, oh, that's right, I made my sister a set of trays and bins, little tiny things like this, to organize all of her supplies. And see, and this one, I made her, I made accidentally two of the same size, and so look, I used this stuff for those. <laughs> this one has a big bird in it, but I got the bird head off, so I had to redo this one too. <laughs> I get the seconds. Okay. Is that really enough for two rugs? We'll see. I'm going to do one of them. And then I have to remove the wedges off those other two. So I'll call it a thing there. It's on sale right now. All of my patterns are on sale right now, you guys. 50% off everything on my website. I've been terrible about telling you guys. In fact, I forgot to even tell Patreon first, but Patreon, I feel like you guys have already spent money on me. You shouldn't spend any more. So, um, but yeah, through Saturday night at midnight, my time, everything on my website's 50% off. Um, all the patterns, all the patterns come with videos and all that. And I probably won't ever do that again. I, maybe, I don't know. I just did it for my 50th birthday and also to clear out, I have a bunch of kits left for zip doubles, pocket buckets, and project bags. That's it, right? <laughs> and then um, um, the bin bin's there. The bin bin's the only pattern I have that comes separate from a video and it was just an experiment. I won't ever do it again that way. So that's awesome, Carrie, yeah. And the bin bin pattern is cheap. It's only $6. Oh, right. it's okay, Walter. I am, I cut, yeah, I did cut out an arch. I love that you're predicting the future, Walter. So yeah, what else I want to say about the sale? 
The only thing that's not on sale is the two inch wide webbing I sell for Wallabies because it's already at wholesale and the zipper that is sold in bundles of 140 inches with 14 sliders, that's zipper by the yard, because that's also at wholesale. But I do have two big zipper bundles that are 200 meters. If you are at all a sewist that does bag making with zippers <clears throat> and cream or off-white zipper works for you, it's a stellar deal. I just need the space. There's nothing wrong with it. I used it for years and years and years. So, yeah, there is, Mrs. Necro, there is one that's all in one. I think it's like 14 normally, so it's only seven bucks. Yeah. Yeah, it is, that one is a little confusing. I probably should just redo that, but I was really thorough and I gave you, I gave bonuses for the, how to sew the tray and how to cut it out, but you're right. And the other thing is, if I would have made that video how to sew all four styles of bin min plus the tray plus cutting. It just would have been a really big video to like upload and all that. I try to keep them 45 minutes to an hour, the most. All right, let's go over and sew this. All right, I need my mousicle. Here we go. Woo, sorry. I forget you're watching. <laughs> and I'm just like willy nilly moving that camera around. <laughs> Gotta give you guys a, a warning. It's so far away. Why are you so far away? It's okay. This looks pretty good, don't you think? I think this works good. All right, which is the one I'm um, tearing apart? It's the other one, right? All right. Stop that. Ooh. Almost hurt you guys. <laughs> All right. So let's sew these together. I need three and a half per. Make sure we stick to our, what's our right side. So how are we gonna feel about like, there only being a border here? Should I do a border down here too? I think I should. Right here? Yeah, I probably should. I think I have enough of this to do that. Yeah. Yeah, don't you think, Catherine? I think it looks good. It, it's that camera and the lighting over there is pretty bad. I sort of wish I would have taken this other office, but it was like $50 more and I couldn't figure out why. It's the exact same unit, except it has two more of these windows and now I'm kind of like, and I wanted more wall. Now I'm kind of like, shoot, you know? I'm going to put these together and then take the last one and see. I have a feeling I'm going to need to cut one more of these out because just because I only need a half doesn't mean it's um, going to be the right. I need the seam allowance, you know, I can't just cut it in half and not have the seam allowance. One, two, three. So I'll be able to do one, but I won't be able to do the other. And that's okay because we're going to, I still need to fix that one. So maybe what I'll do is sew this fourth one on here and then I'm gonna center it. No, I'm not gonna do that. It won't line up. Well, will it? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, this is the one I'm keeping. And is it a straight line? I don't know, it might not be. Might not be a straight line here. Let's iron this. I don't think I have a big enough piece for that. 
But I actually think that that would be a really good choice because it's kind of blah. And when I got it, I was kind of like, huh, I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. It looked a little different on the screen. It's been a good basic, like I used it on my sister's little bin bin trays, you know? Areas where you just don't even think about the fabric. Come on, iron, heat up. Isn't this nice? Let's, let's, let's just gaze at this while we're sitting here. Does it look that nice on the screen? Isn't that nice? I love that. So if you don't know what an oak is, this is the oak leaf. And so I have these all over my property, that and olive tree leaves. <laughs> we have 100 year old olive trees. And those leaves are really skinny and small. We don't even clean them up. They're kind of a nice, um, well, what do you call it? Like duff, they're a nice duff. Yeah, I'm liking that. It's kind of nice to have a nice fabric to look forward to when you're going to do a pattern video. Yeah, isn't that nice, Barbara? That's by Noodlehead. That's one of hers. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see that, Carrie. Yeah. All right. Um, so I think we're just going to go for it. <laughs> except that I didn't I didn't um, you can see see this little dip right here can you see that I need to kind of trim off this hump we're gonna do this really quick I'm not gonna move the face cam oh really Carrie that sounds nice I can't see the screen, so hopefully this looks good. I'm gonna get rid of this little bit of a hump to kind of make that a right angle. So I'm going to nothing at the sides here. You can probably really see it here that it dips. Okay, I kind of want to look, is this straight? I don't think it is. No. I'll bet if it were sewn cut and uh, perfectly, it would be the middle of these two that would make it a straight across line. So we'll have to fix that too. Can I, oh, the, can I use the actual rug arc to draw on the cardboard for a template? Um, I'm not sure what you mean. Like, um, I mean, I could as a template if I wanted to make another one, sure. But I think if I just make that wedge pattern piece like actually trim off that amount so that it is a right angle you know that that would be enough as a pattern unless you wanted like one continuous piece for that arc that, that I'm doing right now I gotta be careful not to pull this because this fabric I'm sure you can tell now how obviously loose weave it is I told you Look, it just starts falling apart. I'm barely pulling it. I have a feeling my seams aren't gonna line up because um, 
which is kind of a bummer uh, because of this fabric is so different. I could have stabilized it with maybe a iron-on interfacing, even non-iron-on. That would have worked too. I'm kind of curious, like what am I gonna end up with here? Is it gonna be flat? Did I put, look at this seam in the middle. Never said I was a quilter. Just want you to remember that I can put a jean fly zip in without looking at instructions. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I was a little bit, it should have come to here. Let's see. Do we think it'll lay flat though? I think we can get it to lay flat, no problem. Especially once we deal with the seam. Do we want that seam? I think we want that seam to go up, right? But I like it. I like that fabric there. I'm not a big fan of these seams not lining up, but it's a rug and we're gonna quilt it. Okay, so I want this to go up, right? I think so, I think I want it to go up. All right, so let's iron it and see how it looks. This is part of that. Look like it could have been a problem spot there, but I think it'll, it's going to be okay. This is why I needed that um, to be a right angle here because technically this this piece should be the same right here as it is right here if it's drafted well, you know. So I do think that this is going to need a strip down here, you know, don't you guys, right? I think so. Oh yeah, it's, um, I made a laundry basket sample the other day um, and I realized, I can't remember what it was, but I decided not to use it for the video. Um, so I needed new fabric for the video and I could have just made something from my, sh my stash work, but I'm really, I really don't have big pieces. Like, like I needed a full yard each of the outer and the inner. So when I was buying this fabric, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy something for the laundry basket. And it's and it's gonna be like a gift for Cricut when she moves away, amongst all the other things I'm gonna sew for her. <laughs> so. Yeah, right? It is, it's a whole beast, exactly. All right, so do you guys, don't you guys think I need, what do you guys think? I think that, I think it would look, yeah, border at the bottom, don't you? Yeah. It's coming together. It's working. Okay. 
pattern table. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> I need this to be the point where I start quilting this if we're really going to be painting it on that Saturday. <laughs> this may end up being a three-parter. You know? All right. So let's straighten this edge. Oof, there's a lot of fabrics on the table. I hate it when it's like that. I mean, does it lay flat quite yet? Not really. But when you think about like, um, the fact that these are wedges and that's an arc, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. I think it's pretty flat for that. There we go. It just won't stay over there, sorry. Okay. Quilting is gonna calm that stuff down. All right. So what would be straight, you know? Let's use the table. I'm, I'm lining it with my grid on my table right now. It probably does not look straight to you guys. Promise it is. It has two and a quarter dropping down and two and an eighth. So that's pretty good. Okay. So that would be straight. Okay. I'm using the grid of my table right now. We might need that. All right. And this ended up being two and three quarters of an inch wide. Good thing we, we did this one because I wouldn't have had enough for the green. <laughs> All right, we're good. Oh, we'll probably only need two of these. I like it. I'm liking it. All right, I need to move that out of the way. So we need two and three quarters inches. And I wonder what size my rug's ending up being. Since I knew I kind of wanted it to be 24 by 48. Cutting the hem off. It's a beast of a hem. I still need to decide on my backing. I just don't have a lot, you guys. I have some fabric coming from parts, but it's all garment fabric. I was like, oh, they're having a sale for Me Made May, I think. Or no, for, was that? Oh yeah, for Me Made May. And so I jumped on it. All right, so I'm going to true this up on three sides and then I'm gonna cut my width. 
I'm just using the grid on my table. I might only need one nap. Yeah, but I have, I have two rugs. That's what I was thinking. But I think you're right. I think I only need one per, which is pretty cool. I said two and three quarters, right? This ruler is so hard for me to read. Two, okay, so I want it right there. <laughs> This is why I always have tape on my rulers because some of them, I know these so well, but some of these others I just don't know. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. You're right, Barbara. There we go. Okay. So. I think we're gonna have to use this. This is my other option. <laughs> but this goes so good with that. That was so lucky. You know, this has got that black and whatever you want to call it, copper mixed together. This could go together though. Not the same impact. Do I have enough? If this was sewn on here. No, I don't. <laughs> I'd have to piece it. Let's fold it the other way. No. All right, well, I'd have to piece it either way. Just a little bit. I'm just shy a little bit. Not bad. Right? Um, and then I, luckily I had bought some batting on my trip. Uh, but I have scraps that I think I'm gonna piece together. <laughs> I know you guys. Well, um, let's see here. I have canvas, I have navy blue canvas. Navy blue canvas. I'm pretty, that's not falling on me, is it? No, okay. I have black canvas. I have Don Jean's uh, denim. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that's not big enough or that. I mean, do we want it to be, see, I don't really want to piece together all the print because, <laughs> can you try to make lemonade more often? I'm glad. I mean, it's coming out pretty similar to what I'd planned. I think the border, honestly, is kind of a nice touch, right? So, lemonade. So, if I piece together backing from all these, what I don't like about that is the more the, there's extra seams. And this print is more usable in projects. 
Oh, I was about to say, then the Essex. Essex is like my hands down favorite, you know? I just love that stuff. It's one yard, you guys. One yard for two rugs. It's, it's you know, a splurge, but not really that much. Um, I have this. I could do one rug in this. I don't want this as the back, though. Do I not want the back? I mean, this could work because... Do I even have enough? I legit cut that those pieces of fabric in kind of in the, no, well, not in the middle, but you know. I'm piecing this together too, but um, not, you know, cause it's not. So I have that as a backing. Um, I, that's too thin, I think. I mean, and I have all the weird stuff, you know, like the um, waves. Uh, I think it's okay as long as um, you're not doing it on something like, well, even the minky. I think people are using it on minky. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> I don't want to love the back, but... Well, what about if I used... Where's that? What if I did um, this for one and this for the other? Would you guys let me do that? You guys are literally not letting me use the blue. <laughs> it's one yard of Essex, you guys. One yard. That's it. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I could buy another yard to replace it. It's not really chambray, but it is pretty, isn't it? So I think these are my those are my options. That for both of them, this for one, and I think I could pee. This is Essex too, by the way, and you guys have no problem getting rid of this. You guys are biased. I think I could get this to work. Maybe. This is why, why is this work? Um, and this one doesn't. Oh, it works, but that's right. I don't have enough going this way to do the full width. That's what it is. Because it's more than 18 inches. You know? So this and then this. I might defy you guys. The blue, yeah. You guys are like, okay, fine. It's one yard, you guys. One yard of fabric. I bought it for this project. It was intended. And why can't it look really nice, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so um, that leaves... Not biased. <laughs> You're like, okay, you can do the weird apricot color stuff, but not the blue. Yeah, I mean, I get that. I give saving the favorite just in case. Projects like this clearly point to the fact that I, f I need a few more basics on hand, but I keep buying them and then I use them. Like I keep buying the basics and I just use them. So they are really handy. Okay, so I need to piece this together. And I need to cut some batting. And I'm gonna do both a little bigger than my project so that I have room for the quilting. Now, what do you guys think about the quilting? Let's talk about that. So I'll do most of the quilting off camera, I think, and then I'll, um, do a little bit with you on Saturday. <laughs> You're not the boss of me. You kind of are the boss of me. I'm here for you. Okay, so what do you guys think of quilting? What would you guys do? I want it to be nice and flat. I kind of want the spacing to be close. 
I mean, I could do concentric circles. They're most likely not going to stay perfect, but I'm okay with that. Um, or I could do radiating lines. Or what if I went like this and like did little um, concentric pie slices. Concentric arcs, okay. I'm going to wait for any of you guys' input on this. Okay, because I think I could put a guide on my machine. I really need to figure out this guide that Terry and um, Adina use on their industrial because I need to get that little. And so when I looked up getting feet, there are feet that, I mean, like guides, and they give you like 30 of them. I just need like one or two, you know. But I think like half inch, you know. You think you prefer a border? What do you mean by a border, Adina? I mean, I added the border. Or are you back in time still? Re yeah, I was wondering about that, Barbara. I was thinking, that's what made me kind of think of the concentric pie slices. Because I think after a certain point, you get too many. I don't think my machine could do it right here. It's already really thick. It's already... Um, pretty congested with seams. It's looking good. I love how nerdy it is. This kind of goes with my jelly roll too. Who'd thunk? All right, well, um, the pie slice, Megan. Yeah, I kind of like that too. I could echo all of the seams. That's why I was thinking the pie, the concentric pie slice could be good. What I've just thought of though is do you think, um, like I feel like intersecting the seams is going to be good at making it a really nice firm quilt sandwich. You know, like making it, because this, if I do concentric pie slices, I feel like I'm going to get a lot of this. You see how the fabric moves like this? Whereas if I do across, I don't know, what do you guys think? Or am I going to distort it? Huh. Oh, well. Well. Yeah, thanks, Walter. Yeah, I'm going to make my backing and my um, batting bigger, and then I'll quilt it. I don't even have binding picked yet. So I'm thinking Saturday I'll quilt a little bit of one of them with you. I'll finish the quilting on it, and then I am going to bind them and do the non-slip. So that's my plan. So, cool. All right, well, thanks for kind of coming along with my crazy ideas. I'll look into my fabric order. It's probably my fault that I did that or something. And then, um, but I'm really glad we made lemonade. I think it's looking good. It's looking very good for me, to me, so. And I didn't need as much as I thought, right? Like, I really, I didn't hardly use any. I could make a few more. In fact, I want to make a little small round one using the closet core poof. Maybe I'll cut that out real quick. <laughs> Let me cut that out real quick. I think it'll be cute in front of the toilet. <laughs> this isn't it. This isn't it. Uh, where's my wedge? It is so buried in here. Oh, I hate cutting or clearing up fabric when it's like this. I need 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. I have some of these already cut out. And then I have some over there cut out. Cool. 
Oh, thanks, Carrie. Hit the like button. Commenting is really good, too. Pull this one out. I'm just going to do it the same size as the um, closet core top. Just a cute little round, you know, um, circle rug. I really made this fat cord to go far, huh? And it all worked out. We'll use our extra pie slices that we didn't use that are sitting over there for this one. And that'll be fine to have some duplicates in it. Oh gosh, I heard that too. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, I'll try and get that done too. All right, you guys, well, um, I'll see you Saturday. And um, hopefully my stuff arrives. So I have some new rugs this weekend, which is pretty exciting too when I think of it that way. So thanks for coming, you guys. Thanks for helping me make lemonade out of my lemons. Um, you know, so thanks, Malone. Every slice, okay, wait. If I decide on slices, every slice once and then go back and fill in. Oh, smart. I like that. That's a, that is a good tip. Yeah, and maybe even doing every other one and then filling in. Thank you. That's a good tip. I like that. Cool. All right, you guys. Well, I will see you Saturday. And, okay, wait, wait, wait. I'd come up five inches from the spoke, do an arc, and then about that. Okay. Yeah, I think you guys are right. You guys are reminding me that I need to kind of space it out. Don't just start doing concentric. Like, do, maybe do it like halfway and then go out from either way. That's what you mean, right? Because <laughs> I, I, you're right. It's gonna shift like a Dickens. So, all right, cool. All right, I'll see you guys Saturday. Have a good one. And um, oh, your internet is slow. <laughs> that's what it is. All right, Adina, we understand. You're supposed to be studying. That's why. Oh, I'm glad you guys. Thanks for coming. I know I'm, I'm liking the anything goes week. <laughs> we'll do more of these. All right. Take care, you guys. I'll see you on Saturday.